Hello guys and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are currently on Johanka's story in the Woman's Lock DLC. I hope you enjoy the video guys. And I, I didn't know who to go to until I heard you speak. Not now. Please. I, I can't. But you were just talking about helping your neighbour. Oh, all right, but quickly, I beg you. It's about my husband, Ambrose. The tailor. He's good to me. He's an honest tradesman and a skilled one. But he keeps playing dice. He sits at that table late into the night, and more than once he lost a small fortune. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't know how I could help. I want him to stop, but he won't listen to me. I'm at a loss what to do. I thought maybe if you were to go and have a word with him, Oh, all right. I'll come and see you when I have some time to spare. Thank you. Thank you kindly. That'd be Henry then doing that. Hello, Johanka. That was good. You did a good job there. My word, Johanka. That speech of yours on the square. I swear I never heard anything like it in my life. Let's talk about it later. Right now, I... Guta, the Sassau tailor's wife, came to talk to me and she was quite desperate. Did you hear? Yeah. I did, I did hear, yeah. Yes, I heard everything. So give her some advice then. But I don't know what to tell her. Our lady didn't prepare me for anything like that. Okay, your words made an impression. You're getting people all worked up. But do the first one. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Your words didn't fall on deaf ears. And now you can't let people down when they come to you. I... I suppose you're right. We ought to try and do something. We? As in... Be quiet and think. We have to find a way. Jesus, you're really full of holy fire. Stop blaspheming and start thinking how we can get Ambrose to give up his dice I've got an playing. idea. We could beat him, take all his money, and then he regrets doing it, and then we give his money back. <laughs> yeah, win the shirt off his back. Hmm. Well, supposing Ambrose were to lose enough to make him regret it. If he were to lose something really important. Ah. Mal was used to scold me by saying, one day you'll go too far and then you'll be sorry. That's it, Henry. Ambrose has to realise for himself how he's harming others, and most of all his wife and himself. Thank you. Uh, glad to be of help. But I can't go anywhere. Never mind playing dice in taverns. I've too much work to do. But you could. Yeah, I've got a few dice now, actually, on my travels. Um, I'll try to help. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Henry. Go and see the tailor's wife and sort it out with her. I have to go back now. Take care. Okay. Let's get our dice out of the chest, because I got them in there cooling off. And let's go and see Ambrose and, uh, and the woman. Right, here we are. I can see her. Is this Ambrose? May the Lord oh. watch over you, Henry. Well, hello, Guta. I've heard you've got a problem with your husband. Mother. Gambling. God. You reek. Uh, I, haven't had, I haven't had to wash for a while. Uh, Johanka sent me to you. Johanka sent me. She asked me to help you with your trouble. She did? That's wonderful. But she said she'd come herself. Well, she's up to her ears in work, and besides, we figured your husband wouldn't pay much attention to a woman, since he doesn't even listen to you. Hmm, I'm afraid that's true. What now, though? Well, Johanka thought it would help if Ambrose saw how playing dice was no good either for himself or for you. Ha! <laughs> I've been telling him off about it for years to no avail. I even took his dice several times, but he always gets new ones. You won't get anywhere telling him off. Ambrose has to realise it for himself. If he lost everything he has to me, that would teach him a lesson. And then I'd talk to him man to man. Oh, God, no. I want him to stop playing, not to lose the roof over We'll, we'll give it him back. No, don't worry. Whatever I win from him, I'll give it back to you. But first, he really has to believe he's lost everything. Do you swear? By the Virgin Mary? 
to give everything back. Um, I swear I'll give it back. Take my word for it. I swear I'll give it all back. I swear I'll give back every last groschen, as the Virgin Mary is my witness. Very well, then. If you think it'll help, take him for everything he has. Okay. Where can I find Ambrose? Where can I find Ambrose? He's not here now. He's getting ready for a trip to Kutenberg on some business or other. No doubt you'll find him at the inn. Okay. Uh, you'd better hurry if you want to catch him. He said he wants to leave soon. Okay, let's go. Let's go God to the inn. Be with you. Right, the thing is, let's hope we do actually win and not cock it up and lose. <laughs> um, let's go and see. Where is he? Is this him here? Yeah, here he is. Talk to him. Well, well, good man Ambrose. Yes. Is there something I could do for you? I heard you were about to leave for Kuttenberg. Aye. Sir so Sebastian von Berg ordered new clothes and he won't settle for anything but the best. I have to go and buy some fine linen, brocade and other things. I'm taking 600 groschen to pay for it all. I'll make him the finest garments ever. Ah, I see. Well, Sir Sebastian's a man who doesn't like to be disappointed. True indeed. I'll be on my way just as soon as the horse is shod and the wagon hitched up. Well, would you like to bet 600 groschen? God's blessings. What can I do for you? Uh, you and I should have a drink together. Let's have a drink together to pass the time while you're waiting, eh? On me. That's kind of you, lad. See you later. Good health. May it serve you. You look like a fellow who's been around. Tell me. What's going on in the countryside? Are the roads safe? Um, it's safer since we drove the bandits out of Pribislavitz. Uh, there were brigands on the rampage. Sigmund's army burnt down Skalitz. Oh my goodness me, I can tell them any anything. Okay, um... Okay. Oh, it's safer in the province now. There was a pack of enemy cutthroats holed up in Pribislavitz, north of Talmberg. Mercenaries, bandits, cumans, and other rabble. But we attacked them and smashed them to pieces. So yes, the roads are safer now. My word. And who led the attack? Um, brave Henry of Scallets. <laughs> well, it kind of was, wasn't it? Oh no, I better do this, Radzig. It was Radzig. Sir Radzig Kobola, the royal hetman. Let's drink to Sir Radzig. Yes, to the bold Sir Radzig Kobola. You've reached a new level in drinking. I haven't put any points, by the way, in drinking yet, because I don't know what to do on that one. Um, to Captain Robard. Oh, I was there too. And to his loyal servant, the bold Henry of Scallets. Aye, we'll drink to you too. Bold Henry of Scallets. This all their empty cups. There were brigands on the rampage. Well, there was a band of brigands on the rampage in the province. They attacked the stud farm at Neuhof, killed old Smill, the owner, and torched the stables. So it's true then. I heard some talk about it, but I thought it was exaggerated. Hmm. Maybe I should take an escort with me. God, when I see all these like options you can do, I thought we've done a lot in this game. We've done a lot. It was a dreadful sight. It's all right. I caught up with a band. Now, not to worry. Fortunately, I caught up with those bastards and put a stop to their pillaging. That's good news indeed. Let's drink to your accomplishment. It was no easy matter, I can tell you. They were cleverly holed up, but they weren't smart enough for me. Ha! To my wits! Ha <laughs> ha! To your wits! <laughs> They're going to get absolutely smashed. Uh, Sigmund's army burnt down Skalitz. That was right at the start, though. That's uh... Sigismund's hordes attacked Skalitz, raised the castle, pillaged the whole area, and slaughtered a lot of people. I heard, lad. I heard. God have mercy on those Let's poor souls. Let's drink to those poor souls. I saved the people in the area. But a lot more people would have died if I hadn't warned them. I took an arrow in the leg, but I still rode on to Talmberg to alert them there. Well done. I toast your determination. And another thing we can drink to. That wound still hurts. What does it? Drink to that. Yes. 
to your wound. May those bastards burn in hell. May they burn in hell. I, I'll be back in two shakes. Ah. Ah. I think I overdid it a bit. Um. How about a game of dice? Well, enough chat. Uh. One little game for the road? How about a little game before you set off? To pass the time. I wouldn't mind, but I won't play here. The wife would find out about it. I'll wait till I get to Kuttenberg, out of the way of prying eyes. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, another drink. I'll tell you something else. Um, you're going to go all the way to Kuttenberg? So, you're going to Kuttenberg, eh? That's right. That's nice. I've never been there. What's it like? That's great, lad. Grand it is. Kuttenberg is a big town. Strong walls. And more churches than you count on your fingers. Even the king himself has a palace there. And it's packed with people. When there's a fair, the whole town is on its feet. You've never seen the like. But the city elders are troubled now. Sigismund and his army are camped near the town. And nothing good can come of that. Okay. Um, let's have another two beers then. Sigismund's a bastard. The devil take that damn Sigismund. He's done damage enough here already. My word, lad. What's going to you? I'm from Scalis. Sigismund's army laid waste to the place. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry. That must have been awful. Awful hardly describes it. I tell you about it, but first I'd have to drink. A lot. A lot. Then let's drink. Right, so there's four cups left. About Merhoyed. Did you Me hear what happened in Merhoyed? No. What happened there? Some bandits attacked the locals. God have mercy. It seems that's the lot of decent folk on this earth. Some fucker thinks he can take what he wants by the sword, and there's damn little you can do about it. Ah, but the villagers weren't such an easy mark. They stood up to them and put up a fight. They even managed to take one captive. <laughs> Good on them. That's what those bastards deserve. But it didn't end with that. Some pestilence broke out. People thought it was the plague. God have mercy on us. It turned out it wasn't the plague, though. It was a well, wasn't Those it? Those murdering bastards poisoned the wells there. The low-down whoresons. They ought to hang. The lot of them. Okay, let's drink to Mehrhead. See, there was four... I don't know if this is something like a, a test as well, because there was four things left. And there's... You can either go three or two. Let's drink to the Mehrhead folk. Let's drink to those brave souls in Mehrhead. They stood up to a pack of cutthroats and captured one. Glory to them! Not even the pestilence could break them. With the help of Brother Nicodemus, they recovered. Glory to your Brother Nicodemus too! Aye, and may trouble pass them by now and leave them to enjoy the peace they deserve. Aye, peace to all people with good souls. Right, so there's two cups left. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, he actually, uh, he actually came a up a bit. Thing. <laughs> oh, I'd better watch it. Okay, how about I go and dice then? Well, enough chat. A little game for the road? How about a little game before you set off? To pass the time. Sure, one little game to pass the time. That doesn't even count, does it? No. Ah, not even worth mentioning in confession. We'll drink to it. May they roll fairly. Right, okay, so now we've got to choose our dice. We've got quite a few dice now. We've got more dice in the casino. Hey! <laughs> Let's do it then. I'll wager... 12 score. Okay, let's do a 12 score. 12 score aggression. 240? You must be very rich or mad, lad. 
No one plays for that much without seeing how his luck is going first. Okay, six score then. Six score aggression. Jesus, that's too much. I thought it was to be a friendly game to pass the time, no? Okay, let's do a dozen groschen. Let him win. And then, yeah, okay. A dozen groschen. Always a nice number. Let's do it. Should we let him win? Right, look all these dice I got. Even numbered dice. I can't wait to see how you throw. I just pressed escape then, because I was going to look at the instructions to see what numbers I need, because I've forgotten. Um, but we're going to lose this one anyway. Well, should we lose it? We're just trying to win it. <laughs> we'll see. The service is a bit slow here today. This will be the one. That's it. Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I daren't. Sakra, I almost had you. <laughs> a bit of practice is what you need, lad. You'll get the hang of it in time. Time? But I need that coin now. Come on, then. You have to give me a chance to get my groschen back. Now I'm going to use a dice. Try, but don't blame me if you lose what you have left. Sure, whatever. Let's play. 600. Ah, fuck it. Let's make it 600. Jesus. That's an awful lot of money. I've got it. But it's for buying cloth. No, that's too much. Six score. Six score. All right. All right, I think I'm gonna just. I've decided to go. I've got two odd dice. I've got a lucky dice. Um, and I got a loo dice. I don't know what these are. Holy Trinity dice. So it's might fall on a three. So that was the idea for that one. And I don't know what this one does. So I'm gonna select the Heavenly Kingdom die. Uh, let's try this. Christ, those damn dice are hexed. Ah, bollocks. There's nothing wrong with the dice. It's all in the wrist action. Oh, wrist my ass. Save the advice and let's play. Ah, my God, I can't believe I lost again. He's, this guy is good. Unless he plays worse when he's got 600. Okay, let's play for everything. Nah, I'll show you. I'll wager 600 groschen. No, put up everything you have. And I'll match it. You can't be serious. You don't have that much money. And then you'll try and wriggle out of it. Ah, but I do. Look. So, what do you say? All right. If you insist. I'm hoping he plays a lot worse on this one. A wager lost is a debt of honor. Don't worry. I won't forget. On my word. Oh my gosh, should we just attain dice? I'm gonna go for the two even two even number dice. Heavenly Kingdom dice. <laughs> two lucky dice. So one lucky dice and two odd die. Let's try it. May the best man win. What's that for then? Right, I just looked up and I do I don't understand this dice <laughs> at all, so. Let's roll again.
Oh, that means a six, does it? Okay, let's um, score and pass. So the dice aren't falling in his favour now. Uh, or are they? That's all. Okay, fancy. Yeah, so he's not playing as good now. Come on, let's do this. I've got to see a few fives there. Five, five, and a five. Um, should we roll again? Let's do the risk. Score and roll again. Oh, I got no. I got. I got a six. I got a five. Is that one? Oh, just that then. This isn't one, is it? Wish. Okay, just a five. Okay, score and pass. Oh, I've got a couple of sixes there. Oh no, it doesn't mean <sighs> anything, does it? I still don't know fully the the rules on this. But you can get a straight. You can get three of a kind. I don't know. It's almost, I suppose, it's a bit like poker. Um, so just a four and a four, and that counts something. No, so that just counts as a six then. This is a load of rubbish. Right, just score and roll again. You're probably looking at me, looking at this game and thinking, why did you do that for? Ah, three, three. Oh, this is a good one. Three and a three. Let's pass that. Score and pass. Oh, 100 points left to go. Yeah, his dice aren't falling at all for him now, are they? We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to go bust, surely. Oh, no. He's got one. Okay, we just need 100 points. <sighs> oh, what's he getting again for? That's it. Come on. He's creeping up now slowly. You. Oh, we should do this now. What we got here? What we got here? We got a six. Uh, a six. Uh, six. And is this a six? Yeah, we've done it. And we also got a three. Oh, no, we haven't got a three. We got a one. Right, let's uh, score and pass. And we have won. Yay. Quest done. Or object objective. Ha! Groshen for me. Had a god. 600 groschen. Oh my god, what have I done? That money was for buying cloth. What shall I do now? Teach Ambrose the error of his ways. Actually, it wasn't by chance that I ran into you. The Virgin Mary sent me? Or your wife sent me? The Virgin Mary sent me. It was the Virgin Mary who sent me to you. What are you talking about? Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, no. I mean it. My friend Johanka has been visited in her dreams by Our Lady, and she's been passing her message on to the people about amending their ways and repenting for their sins, like playing games of hazard, for example. You see how easily you were tempted into wagering everything you had on dice? You're bringing misfortune down on yourself and your family. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I got carried away. But what am I to do now? Repent and do penance for your sins. Ask God for forgiveness and swear by the Blessed Virgin never to pick up dice again. You're right. My passion for dice has gone too far. I'll do what you say. Give me your dice too. And give me those dice so they don't tempt you to play again. 
I'll throw them down a well where they can't put. No, we'll keep them ourselves, Henry. But those aren't just any old dice that you can get anywhere. They bring luck. Well, mostly. Ambrose. I don't play with them much. I keep them hidden away for special occasions. Oh, all right. Here you are. Listen, Henry. Okay. The money you want from me, do you think maybe I could get it back? I've learned my lesson, I swear. But now I have to go and buy that cloth, and I can't pay for it. Um. Did I say no? I, th I thought I was going to give it to the woman. Okay, I'm just going to give it him back. Just in case we don't have the option later. Now, you've seen the error of your ways. That's all I wanted. I never intended to take your money. Here, have it back. And next time, be more sensible about what you do with it. Thank you, Henry. You're an honourable man. God bless you. All right. Quest completed. Um, let's go back to Johanka. Maybe we should go back to the, maybe we should go back to his wife first, just to tell her, let her know. And then we go back to Johanka. Guess what? Guess Henry. what, Gouter? Um, well, how did it go with that husband of mine? I played him and took him for everything he had. I see. So he played again. I had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him, and in the end, he promised he wouldn't gamble again. He even gave me his dice. That sounds promising. Thank you, Henry. But what about the money he lost? Did you give it back to him? Yeah, I gave it back to him so he can buy what he needs. That's wonderful. Thank you, Henry. Okay, thank you. Um, I will see you around. Hopefully you, you all have a good happy marriage with Ambrose and uh, maybe you'll throw in a free t-shirt or something for me. Anyway, see ya. Let's go back and see um, your hanker. Henry! Wow. Okay. Um, let's talk about the tailor's wife. I went to see the tailor's wife, like you wanted. Oh. And how did it go? I think it turned out well. Ambrose admitted he was overdoing it with the dice playing and promised to quit. That's great news, Henry. You've helped him and his wife a lot. Thank you. You're a true friend. I think this is exactly what the Blessed Virgin wants from us. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around.